Hey guys, Marty here from Guitar Jams. Uh, you're gonna watch an awesome technique lesson from uh, my good friend Tim Pierce real quick. But I'm gonna pick one commenter on this video right here, one random commenter, and I'm gonna send you and give you this guitar. I'm going to announce the winner in a video on this channel. August 23rd, 2014. So if you're watching this video and it's 2020, safe to say the giveaway already happened. So leave a random comment. I'm gonna pick one person and then I'm gonna send you this guitar for free. Just leave a comment and now watch this lesson. <laughs> What we do is we take our second finger and we pull up on the third string, second fret, and then we play the, the two open strings. That's the first phrase. And the second phrase is we take our third finger on the second string, third fret, we pull up and we play the two open strings backwards. So these two phrases are, and then the second phrase is, and then the third phrase is, we're doing the same thing on the next string. We're just pulling up on the third fret. And then we play the, the, the second phrase again. So I'm going to review these first four phrases. And if you break them apart like that and realize you're, you're just doing the open strings like this. First you're going, and then you're going, and then you're going, and you're going. Again, it's kind of an easy way to visualize it. So here we go. Here we go. The next phrase is, and that's your third finger on the third fret, second string, and then second finger on the second fret, third string, and then you play the open B note again. So this whole series. And then we start our walk down. This is the home stretch. It's easy. And we pull up. And you might have done that before or something close to it. So we pull up on the second string. Pull off, which means we're pulling the string off and sounding the note with our finger. We do it on the next string, on the fourth string, second fret. Right? So these two in a row. And then we walk down chromatically on the fifth string from the second fret. And then finally we finish out with the third string pulling down from the G note on the third fret. And so the idea is to connect all this in a smooth way. I'm gonna do it at medium speed. And it's designed to be an even phrase so it ends on a downbeat. I'll do it fast. I'll do it really slow and then we'll move on. So the next thing I do is you go all the way up the neck and you do this really cool thing. All you got to do is take your third finger on the 15th fret across the top two strings and you want to strike with your pick. So it's down, you're muting, well you're not muting, but you're choking the strings when you, when you do a downstroke, and you want to aim for the top two strings only. You go choke, sound, choke, sound, choke. <laughs> you do it four times. You go. So it's. And it's kind of like, you know, you, you figure we're in 6-8 in and it's kind of. So rhythmically, that's what you want to hear. So um, I'll do the two phrases together. Two, three, four. And then you repeat that whole thing. So it gives you, what I do is I, I walk down 
And I give myself a lot of time to bring my hand up here. I'm kind of counting to four, and then I go. And that's that kind of Hendrix E. That's where it comes from. So I'll play both of these in a row, just like I did on the demo. Then the rhythm part goes to the five chord, and that's pretty easy to, to, to do. Um, I just take my second finger, and I'm doing these top two open strings, but I slide up from fret two to fret four three times. And then slide down. So you don't have to slide up three times. You can just slide up once. Then slide down. And all the while, I'm pounding the top three strings and then the top four strings. Ending the phrase with second fret, third string, and then the open G and landing on the E anchor on the second fret. And finally, we finish out by going all the way back up here it's the third finger on the 16th fret and the second finger on the 15th fret, strings three and two. And I pound with my right hand down strokes. And then I drop down with my index finger on the same two strings. And drop it down again, strike it once, play this phrase. And all that is is third finger, fourth string, 14th fret, pull off. Same thing on the fifth string. Come back and restrike that two note cluster right there. So the last phrase is. So let me do these last two at speed. I think I'm not gonna slide up three times. classic E9 chord. Mm -hmm.